Team CV Victor Hill celebrating victories. Gave you guys another video, and in today's video, what I'm gonna talk about is an underperforming ATM that I'm gonna be removing out of a barbershop. All right, I'm gonna talk about this location. I'm gonna talk about how the owner responded and reacted. So stick with it and stay tuned. Before I dive into the details, some people are probably wondering why am I moving it or how do I know it's a time to move it. I actually knew the time to remove this ATM was a while before I'm actually taking it out. Um, the reason why I never really took it out before is because it was one of my first ATMs that I put and uh, me and the guy had a, a, a good relationship. That doesn't mean that you, if you got a great relationship or your friends or whatever, you know, business is business, but I was giving them the benefit of the doubt. Um, the ATM helped them out a lot, you know, for the most part, um, but I wasn't making enough money um you know that i wanted to make and now 2022 i got bigger goals all right and i want to go act after those goals so now's the time to remove the atm put it in a new location and see if we can get make some more money with it so this atm was in this location for about two three years i think you know since 2019 i want to say so it's been a while and um, i had it in there and the last month when i just took it out is i think it did like 48 transactions 45 transactions something like that which was i think you know three dollar and 25 cent transaction fee on that one i was giving him a little bit more of the profit simply because you know we were cool my first atm i'm gonna show him some love so i was giving him about 45 cents a transaction so i was giving him about 20 something dollars 20 20 bucks a month on a good month um and i wasn't making anything i wasn't making anything that i really wanted to i wasn't making anything that was exciting so i gotta take it out one thing that's important for you guys to understand is kind of understanding why it's underperforming. All right. So in this location, I don't want to say that it was underperforming due to traffic, um, but it possibly, you know, could be. Um, but it may be probably because two things underperforming because of low traffic and underperforming because of the amount of car transactions that they were doing. All right. If they had a barber, I think they had three or four barbers in there. If all three of those barbers, um, you know, were actually only doing cat, um, cash only and not doing cash app, not doing square, or any other those, those other things, then chances are, you know, the ATM would have performed a lot better. All right. So that's just something you want to take note. These are all questions that you want to ask the business owners when you are thinking about putting an ATM in there and just asking them, hey, do you plan on using cash app? Do you use square? Do you use any of these other, you know, um, cash transfer, you know, like apps and stuff like that, like Zelle and, and uh, Venmo and all the other things in there? Or are you looking to do mostly, you know, transactions with, with cash? All right, if that's the case, then that's going to help you a little bit more by identifying that it's going to be a lo good location than assuming that you have good fit traffic because just because they're cash only doesn't mean that they're always going to perform well because they could be cash only, but they're not having the foot traffic to, to go along with that. All right. So you want to make sure those two are going to be the biggest things they are going to be cash only plus foot traffic, but more importantly, foot traffic. So a lot of people are always curious about like having the holes in the ground once you're removing an ATM. I always tell the business owners out front, like, look, I'm going to drill into the ground. I'm going to bolt the ATM for security purposes. And um, there may be a chance that this ATM is gonna be removed. So you're gonna have little holes on the ground, penny size holes, nothing crazy. I always explain that to them. So you definitely wanna explain that to the business owner before you start drilling into their, their ground, into their flooring. All right, and then once I talk about that and they understand when it comes time to remove the ATM, they know they see those holes. For me personally, I never had anybody that had an issue with the holes being there. They may just cover it with, you know, like a clothing rack. If it's a clothing store, they might cover it with some type of furniture or seat or something like that. Um, but if you drill deep enough, I don't want to kind of get off topic here, but if you drill deep enough, what you can do after you take the ATM out, you get a hammer, all right? And you hammer in the anchors and the anchors are going to go into the ground. And then when they go into the ground, now you're really just going to see the, just the holes. All right. Um, if it's something serious, then what you could do, you could just get yourself some grout fill the holes up with some grout maybe take like you know uh, one of those scraper things you can even use like a credit card or something something that's hard and just kind of scrape the top make it flush let it dry and there you go so what i'm going to answer right now is about the time that i keep an atm inside an actual location before i removed it the answer to this question is general um because you can remove it sooner you can remove it later Things can happen where the business isn't at performing as well as it used to, or things can happen where the business is performing a lot better. So just kind of take this advice with a grain of salt. But three months is usually the magic number for me. I have removed um, ATMs after that. I have removed ATMs before that. 
I haven't removed the ATMs within a month. All right, and the reason why is because if it's just absolutely like dead silent, like it's not doing anything, I'm not gonna wait three months. I don't wanna waste my time. I could be taking this ATM somewhere else and finding a new location for it. So it's just a general rule of thumb, three months, you know, do it sooner if you feel like you can and you need to, do it later if you wanna give it a little bit more time. If you're starting to see January is kinda slow, February is picking up, March it picked up a lot more. Let's see what April looks like and then kind of go from there. All right, so those are just things that you guys can do when you're considering removing an ATM from your location. So I've been in the ATM business for about three years now. All right, I have about 13 ATM machines or ATMs, right? Automatic telling machines. Um, I removed ATMs from locations multiple, multiple times. I can't even count, I can't even remember. All right, I want to say maybe like 10 times, maybe less than that. Maybe I don't I don't think it's more than that, but somewhere around that number is the amount of times that I've physically taken an ATM out of location. Again, this is something you're probably going to do if you haven't done so already. So be prepared for me personally, um, when it comes to business owners, you know, talking about telling them that I'm going to remove the ATM or I'm going to bolt down an ATM. Um, I never really had any big issues with that. I never really had any sticklers where they were like, nah, man, I don't want to do it or no, let's, you know, I don't want you to, you know, have holes in my ground or, you know, kind of fought with me when I was finally removing it because it wasn't performing well. I never really dealt with that, but there's a lot of people out there. There's a lot of personalities out there. This is something you may run into. So in the comments below, let me know if you have any, if you ever dealt with any anything like that where an owner was complaining or they were upset or you ran into some, some sort of battle between the owner simply because you were moving the ATM or simply because you were requesting to put, um, you know, to bolt it down. Let me know in the comments below. All right, guys. So it's super, super easy to remove an ATM from a location. Just removing, open up the ATM, removing the bolts, unplugging everything, lifting it off the bolts, taking it out, do what you got to do. But at the same time, it could be difficult to kind of break it down to the business owner, letting them know that you're taking the ATM out. All right. So I wanted to share this video with you because I think it's insightful. I think it definitely can help some of y'all, especially if you're just getting into the business. Um, so either way, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have other questions. Let me know if you have any other video ideas, anything like that. Be sure to like the video, share it if you need to. And I'll talk to you guys with another video. Stay up, stay blessed and much love.